Hey guys, welcome to Restorbin. My name is Kushal and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Let's Encrypt for Nginx using CertBoot for getting a free SSL certificate. So I already written an article on this which you can refer. So what we are going to cover in this article is uh, how to install the CertBoot. A CertBoot is a program which helps in installing and renewing the Let's Encrypt certificate and uh, how to test the domain certificate once it is installed, how to renew the Let's Encrypt certificate and there are some of the prerequisites that we need to see in uh, Nginx uh, to make sure that the certificate is installed properly. So let's get started. So the Let's Encrypt is nothing but it's a non-profit certificate authority by Internet Security Research Group uh, which provides the free certificate uh, for the transport layer security encryption at no extra charges. And uh, this certificate is uh, valid for like 90 days and uh, you can renew it whenever you want uh, in the past span of 90 days. So the reason why you have, we are using the CertBoot is the CertBoot has an option to auto renew the certificate 30 days prior to the expiration date. So one thing which we need here is the uh, SSH connection uh, through your terminal or putty whatever you're using and uh, we may need or may not need the SFTP uh, because we can also edit the uh, Nginx configuration file using nano editor in SSH. So let's get started. So first one, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the Let's Encrypt can read Nginx and Nginx is properly configured. The first and the most important thing is to make sure that the server name in the Nginx file is reflecting to your domain name, not the IP address or not any other or not the blank value. So let me open my command line to open this uh, nano editor. We can just copy this command line. Let me clear this. Can just paste this. So this will add, uh, open the default configuration in Nano Editor. So if you go down and uh, you can just you just need to verify this one particular line that is server name and which is set to demo.restorebin.com. So which is perfectly fine. So I don't have to worry about any other thing in this uh, because uh, I used uh, WordPress to configure this earlier uh, in my previous videos. So it's all set now. So let me just close this. So I made sure that uh, the server name is demo.restorebin. Just in case if you've made any changes, you can just run this command to test the Nginx configuration file. And once it is done, you can just restart the Nginx service using this command line. Uh, moving on to installing the certificate. So to install the certificate, first we need to update the library and then we need to install the uh, common softwares and the repository that we need for uh, installing the cert board. So let's run this first command. Paste, enter. Let's copy this second command. Paste, enter. Let's copy this third command. So this will update, upgrade all the repositories. Uh, and now the main important is to add the uh, CertBoot repository to APT. So whenever we update the repository next time in future, uh, it will check for any CertBoot new upgrades are available and it will automatically upgrade that as well. So let's add uh, CertBoot to the repository, APT repository. Again, update the repository. Now that we have added the uh, CertBoot location to our apt repository the next thing we, what we can do is we can just go and install the cert board program so we are going to install two things one is the cert board and another is the python program that supports the cert board for uh, reading and writing the nginx file so let's copy this entire command and just paste and install Okay, my third board uh, program has installed. So next step is just installing the certificate. So here is the command sudo certboard nginx and the domain name and the other domain name like this is the uh, root domain name and this is the www domain name. So in my case, I'm just going to install on the demo.restorebin.com because my root domain restorebin.com al already has a certificate and uh, it's already configured with entire blog. 
so let me copy this and run this command so in the process it will ask us to enter certain details like the email address so just enter the email address uh, since it's a uh, stobin dot demo at the rate gmail.com let me agree the conditions whether you want the email address to be shared with EFF that is electronic frontier foundation to get the uh, development updates or something it's up to you I would be selecting no so it has started obtaining the certificate and uh, installing the certificate so you will have an option to select uh, how your HTTP request to be processed whether you want a uh, HTTP request to transfer to HTTPS or you want both HTTP as well as HTTPS uh, request to be working as a separate so I would strongly suggest you to select the second option which is making sure that all the requests are redirected to HTTPS and we no longer need a HTTP request so let me select the second command uh, that's it so our certificate is now installed and configured completely so you can test your domain SSL certificate using this uh, below URLs so if you have the uh, www version you can just go and uh, change your domain name here you can use this one if you are using for the root domain since I would be using my demo.restorebin I would be copying this particular URL pasting it in my browser and enter so this will take some time at least a minute or two so I'm not expecting a score of A plus uh, because I haven't made uh, much changes in my uh, security like we have to add uh, certain uh, command lines which will improve the security of all the HTTPS request uh, that I would be covering uh, in the later part of the next videos in the series so we are almost at the end of this uh, test so our overall rating is A so we are still missing with some of the uh, TSL uh, securities so here you can see we are missing with the DH parameter and uh, some of them are weak so we would be making those changes uh, in the upcoming videos so now that our certificate is test and we are ready with our certificate let's just visit our website demo.restorebin.com and let's see if it's redirecting to HTTPS yes it's redirecting to HTTPS and if you click on this uh, padlock you can see the connection is secured and it also has the certificate and it expires on uh, 28th of September which is exactly 90 days from now now moving on to uh, renewing the let's end script certificate so like I mentioned in the start of the video the let's end script will only uh, give a certificate which is valid for 90 days and certboard program helps in uh, renewing that certificate 30 days prior to expiration when the certboard is installed it adds a rule into the con jobs which will check uh, the certificate validity almost daily and uh, we can just check if our certificate is due renew or something using this command just copy this paste it and uh, you can see here certificate not due for renewal but stimulating for renewal for the dry run so certificate is not due so just in case if you want to renew just you can run this command I'm not going to run this but uh, this was the dry run command which will just stimulate the renew and this will actually renew the certificate and you can also view all the certificates installed on your uh, server using this uh, command sudo certboard certificates so here I can see there is only one certificate which is installed right now which is uh, demo.restorebin.com that's all in this video we have successfully installed the SSL certificate and also tested that uh, it's uh, working fine and we have scored A in this uh, in upcoming videos I'm going to uh, help you in tweaking that 
uh, nginx configuration to make sure that uh, it's scoring a plus and uh, also we would be uh, making some changes uh, specifically in nginx to improve our security that's all for today and uh, let me know if you have any questions cheers guys have a great day thank you